Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we have a special guest on Neri's Kitchen. We have Coach Corinne <laughs> in the house to share us one of her special recipes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> awesome. So what are you making today, Corinne? Today we're making Buddha bowls. I love this recipe because when I'm doing a belly burn challenge, I'm able to meal prep for basically the entire week, yet go through daily and have a different meal with these same ingredients. Okay, so exactly what is a Buddha bowl? Because I don't know, but to <laughs> me it sounds really special. <laughs> Technically, Buddha bowl is vegetarian style. Oh, okay. Um, you can change it up. Some people call it a rice bowl. Some people call it a noodle bowl. There is no rhyme and reason. There is no special recipe that goes along with this. Um, you literally pick, it's all right here. <laughs> you pick one of six ingredients and you set it all on your plate and that is your meal. It's got your protein, your fiber, your healthy fats, you name it, it's in it. So basically you just build your bowl yes. with six different ingredients. And or more. Main, or more. And it's mainly <laughs> vegetarian? Yes. Okay. Yes. The one I'm doing today is not vegetarian. I'm making it Jerome style. Um, so it does have chicken in it. <laughs> Yay. We make friends with chicken. Right? Yes. yes. Right <laughs> okay. Shall we go ahead and start? Yes. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to start with your greens. So you can pick lettuce, kale, um, any type of mixed green that you can come across, spinach. I change it up. Um, every time is something a little bit different. For today, we're gonna to use some romaine lettuce. Do you also want some spinach in there, Jerome? Yes, please. Yes, please. All right. The greener, the better. That's what I say too. You can never go wrong with this. So you just start to build your plate like this. From there, you're gonna pick your starches. So your starches would be like um, your rice or your sweet potato. Sometimes I cube sweet potato. I okay. throw it in the air fryer, toss mm -hmm. in a little bit of olive oil and seasonings, and that's my sweet potato for the week. It's okay. perfect. Um, so for Jerome, I already asked him, he asked for rice. Now, yes. I like to <laughs> use these individual pre-made cups. I'm a mother of four who eats differently from my children and my husband. So I need to have stuff that I can keep an individual portion. So this so, is pre-made rice. Right, it's minute rice. I have rice. never seen this before. See, Likewise. you can also get quinoa in um, individual packages really? where you boil it in the package and it's a single serving in the quinoa packages as well at Sobeys. <laughs> okay, see, great tip. Minute single rice. serving <laughs> minute rice. We're just gonna throw this in the microwave and it goes in there for minute and a half. Our next thing, we load it up with color. So you load it up with all of the different veggies that you um, you like. So everything from me, I like all veggies, mm -hmm. um, but you can put in as much as you want in here. Really, this takes care of all of your fiber that you basically have for the entire day, which is fantastic. Yes, make sure you guys up your fiber. I know when we are eating cleaner, it is harder to get your fiber up. So yes. Make sure you get 25 grams of fiber just to, you know, clean the pipes, right, Corinne? <laughs> <laughs> you know it, Mary. <laughs> so we've got some little tomatoes and we've got some cucumber that I'm putting in here. Um, I also have some edamame beans here for Jerome. This one, I promise I won't blow up in your microwave. It just goes in for 30 seconds. You just heat them through. So we're going to add that rice onto Jerome's plate. And you can stack it all on top of each other if you like. And then Mary, if you would like. Oh, it's just Chicken. Oh, chicken. For Jerome. <laughs> so most of you know, I typically eat a vegetarian lifestyle. <laughs> so for me, myself, Mary, if I could get you just to chop some of that chicken oh, sure. up, please. Um, for myself, what I would typically do is I buy the cube of tofu. Okay. And then I just pat it dry, toss or chop it into cubes and toss it in cornstarch mm -hmm. and then fry it up in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And um, it makes it nice and crispy. Then I toss it in with hot sauce and it tastes like chicken wings. <laughs> Another great tip for all the vegetarians out there. There is okay. also... Um, Another one of my favorite ones to do is like a Mexican 
quinoa. So I would use quinoa in place of the rice um, and then I toss it with some taco seasoning and I use tomatoes and black beans and corn um, and sometimes sweet potato tossed in the seasoning like I had mentioned earlier. Um, and then I drizzle it with hot sauce and avocado and um, Greek yogurt and it's delicious. So now we're gonna put some of these edamames on here for Jerome. Edamame actually has quite a bit of protein, FYI. It does, it helps every little bit of protein that a vegetarian can cram into her meal. Yes. <laughs> she better be doing it. So then we take our healthy fats. And for today, I have an avocado here for Jerome. You like avocado, Jerome? Yes, I do. Perfect. So you just open your avocado. And look at this avocado, it's perfect. I, do you have any tips on how to pick the perfect avocado? I typically buy my avocados when they are still slightly green. Mm -hmm. um, and then do not store them with your bananas. Really? Why? When you store an avocado with your bananas, it causes your avocado to ripen at a rapid pace. And oh, okay. it, for me personally, mm -hmm. it actually rots them. Here's another fun fact for avocados. If you have a glass jar, mm -hmm. put water in it. Okay. Put the whole avocado okay. in there, store it in your fridge, and you can keep them for like up to a week, week and a half. Oh, so it makes it last longer. Yes, still fresh and good. It's funny because every time I buy avocados, I want to eat it right away. So I will actually store it next to a banana. <laughs> or another fun fact, I would actually wrap it up in tin foil oh. to make it ripen even that much faster. Okay, I've not heard of tin foil. Yeah, tin I have foil heard helps. of like paper bags where you put paper them in the paper yeah. bags. I think you're trying to, uh, what's it called? Save the, the gases that it releases to make it ripen faster. That could be it. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a little bit of cilantro for you here, Jerome. Love cilantro. Just, you know, because you can never have too many greens. You can never, know. No. Nope. So you've got your healthy fats in here now. And the last thing that you do now is you find your sauces. So it's time to spice it up. Any type of um, seasonings that you want to put on there, dressings, sauces. When I'm typically doing a belly burn, um, I go to the lower calorie sauces. Hot sauce is the go-to for me. Um, and then when I'm not doing a belly burn, obviously I don't measure, but this, the great thing about a dinner like this is when you are restricting those calories mm -hmm. and bringing them down, mm -hmm. this meal will modify for that entire oh, time. Perfect. So you can go and you can change it up daily and turn it into whatever you want. And then you just shrink your portions and you can measure it out on your macros on MyFitnessPal mm -hmm. and it tells you exactly what to put into it. So then you just drizzle it with a little bit of the, your dressing and what are you using? This one, I'm using um, peppercorn ranch. Okay. Because I asked Jerome and he likes spice. And then, oh, this one's even better. So this is a new hot sauce that I just tried. It's Blue Top Brand and it's a Buffalo Cayenne hot sauce. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I'm not gonna lie, I may have had the Mexican style Buddha bowls last week and this was my sauce. And just like that, your meal packed full of fiber, full of nutrition, all the good stuff and everything that your body craves, done. And you can change it up throughout the week. And look at this. Wow, doesn't that look amazing? And how long did this take us to make? Like what, five, five minutes? minutes? <laughs> Not even, right? Yep. Shall we have a taste? <laughs> sure. Okay. You want the chicken? Of course, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to taste of everything. Yes, please. These cute little tomatoes. Where did you find these cute little tomatoes from? At Walmart. No way. Uh huh. Okay. Oh my God. See? That this sauce is so amazing. Beast. Isn't it? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just like that. And you can do it where you put mango and peanut sauce and cilantro in that, and you can sprinkle lime on top and turn it into a Thai bowl. You can turn it into the Mexican one I described mm -hmm. earlier. Anything you want. So really you can just build it, put anything you want and just add layers, add lots of flavors. Mm -hmm. This actually tastes like a restaurant meal. Yes! <laughs> Score! <laughs> well, thank you so much, Coach Corinne, for sharing us how to make um, a Buddha bowl. I've learned quite a bit. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye! See ya!